enchanting friends, welcome to my fantasy land. Today we're going to be doing a dragon dice box, which was inspired by this image that you see right now, and also inspired by the new series, The House of the Dragon. Remember to subscribe and comment on this video for a chance to win a six piece person four set, and keep an eye for the secret words that I'm gonna share with you somewhere in this video so that you can complete the secret phrase that you'll need to enter the $400 shopping spree giveaway. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I won't be showing you in this video how I did the dragon eyes just because the video would end up being super long and we are kind of limited in time, but I will be releasing a video pretty soon where I show you how to do these dragon eyes with nail polish and also with color art pigments. Now I got this um, box top art piece from the dollar store. And they just have these pieces of art. Um, and basically has like a box, a frame. So I'm going to use this for my project. So I'm using this just to make sure that I get good coverage of that because um, I don't know if the black paint will be enough to cover that design. So I'm just going to put some of this first and then I'll put some black paint over this uh, once this is dry. Now that this is painted black, we're going to add this Rust-Oleum color shift in purple sunrise this beautiful purple blue color shift. Our box is now uh, painted and dry. You can see the color shift right here. And these are just some of the eyes that I created and I, want, I just wanted you guys to see some examples and I'm going to decide here which one I'm going to choose for this project. I picked this last piece for my dragon just because I like the bright green and the purple. You're going to need some Mod Podge, some water, and a, a brush, and also some paper towels. I started creating some texture with uh, these paper towels. I first, um, you know, separated the two layers and I was dipping the paper towel in the water and then squeezing the water out. But this method turned out to be a little bit um, too complicated just because the paper towel would sometimes break or it would have too much water. But here I'm just going with the Mod Podge over the wet you know, paper towel. But as you can see in just a bit, the paper towel is going to start lifting because I didn't put any Mod Podge underneath it. So it's kind of not sticking. So I put some Mod Podge underneath and then I put my damp paper towel right on top and added another layer of Mod Podge right on top. Just continue to cover the rest of the inside of your box with Mod Podge and continue adding layers of damp paper towels. I glued the eye on the surface with some Mod Podge, but the Mod Podge takes a while to dry, so the eye was moving quite a bit. So I would suggest that you use like E600 or hot glue just so that your eye doesn't move around while you're adding the rest of the texture. And here I'm just adding again more uh, pieces of paper towel and just trying to create some ridges to create like the 
the brow area of the dragon eye. Now that this piece is dry, we're going to continue painting it and I'm going to add a layer of black artist loft paint. Now I'm using some UV resin, some bubbles, and a UV light along with this silicone brush to create some dragon skin. Spread the resin, put some bubbles, put your UV light over the bubbles for about a minute and then come in with a paper towel and dry up all the surface. Here's a crucial mistake that I did. I did not protect my black paint before starting this process of the resin and the bubbles. So the soap solution started to lift off some of that black paint of, off of the surface. So I would suggest that you add a coat of an acrylic spray varnish before you start adding the resin and before applying the bubbles. I was originally not planning to add this dragon skin texture all over the box. However, I made the mistake of leaving the box outside in the sun uh, to let it cure and it was just too hot and that heat caused some dimples on the bottom surface of the box. So I ended up covering the whole thing with this UV resin and creating the dragon texture all around the box to disguise some of this damage. This is how the dragon skin looked before I added the dragon skin texture to the whole box and I would have preferred it to stay like this. However, like I said, there was some damage on the bottom of the box so I had to uh, disguise it somehow and I decided that I was just going to cover the whole thing with the UV resin. Let's start adding some color. Here are the pigments that I'm going to be using. I already started adding some color so you could kind of see how it's gonna look. I love that eye. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Okay. Um, so these are the colors that I'm going to use. It's a sweet thistle, fragrant thyme, Caribbean mist, and vintage mint. They're all primary elements from color art. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and all I do is just dip that and yeah, I spread it out. I used my fingers to blend the colors a little bit more so that the colors would transition into each other a little bit more naturally. We're gonna put a coat of spray varnish because I don't plan to put uh, resin on everywhere so I only plan to put resin on the bottom part so I am going to need to uh, add some acrylic varnish on the edges and on you know these parts here so that those colors don't fall off when people are touching it. So 
so I think I like this. I, I might not even add a layer of resin underneath. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to actually cover just the eye. So I have a piece of tape covering the eye. I'm going to add another coat of this, but before I do that, I'm going to add or sprinkle some of this glitter. Um, and then I'm gonna add that top coat It's in a flake size. This is my special, special mix. Just gonna sprinkle it. You can find these glitter flakes and the beads that I will show you in just a minute on the EnchantingFineArt.com website. I'm gonna add a coat of that so that this can stick. I'm going to add, oops, a few of these beads. 